Hi. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and determine the domain and range of the function. So this has become maybe a little tricky only because when we do the um, domain and range, remember that domain is the x-axis, the x values, right? So wherever your function lies between which x values. And then the range um, is all the y values. So you're going to be listing y values in the interval of range, uh, in the range. So um, this becomes a little tricky because we're always in mindset of domain because it's so important. But range is important too, and it's good that we learn both. So let's go ahead and start with this, the domain. So here the domain is which two values does the function lie between? And this could go all the way out to negative infinity to infinity, or if it has dots at the end like ours, it's going to be a restricted domain. So first of all, we see that it's negative 1 and 2. So we know for a fact with the domain, we have the numbers negative 1 and 2. The next step would be to determine the brackets or the parentheses. So remember brackets we use with a closed hole and parentheses we use with an open hole, right? And meaning that it's inclusive or non-inclusive. That's all it means. Okay, so we see on negative 1 that there is a closed hole, so we know there's a bracket on negative 1. On 2, we see the open hole, right? So we know to use a parenthesis. So there's the domain. Okay, so the next one would be the range. So the range is up and down. So now I'm no longer looking at these x values, but only the y values. So even though I see that the function the, the function may start left to right at negative 1 for x's, but where does it start in terms of y? So y, we always go low to high. So where is the lowest y value of our function? Well, our lowest y value is here, right? Because up here is high, much higher than this point here. What is the y value here? Well, it lies on the x-axis, so the y value here is zero. So always do the numbers first and then we figure out the, the brackets and parentheses second. All right, where's the highest point? So some of you are like, oh, let's go back to this point. Don't, you're looking, thinking of x's, right? So let's look, there, are, there is a point on that graph that is higher than this at closed endpoint, right? So low to high, go all the way to the highest. Notice the highest point on the graph is this verte vertex. And the y value at that vertex is 4. Again, range is low to high, right? Um, domain is left to right. Great. Now we did the lowest point on the graph where it was y was 0. And the highest point was when x was 4, um, when y was 4. Now let's go ahead and determine which um, do we use bracket or parenthesis. Now on the zero, it's the same point as the two, right? So we know there's an open circle there and it was never included. So we'll go ahead and use a parenthesis there. The four, notice that that goes right through the graph. It's included and we can use a bracket. So we can see here by the answers that we were correct. And all, the easiest way to remember domain and range is domain is x is left to right, range is y values low to high.